six years of research, but finally 1,150 names from across the Sittingbourne area have been properly remembered. It's taken 126 volunteers hours of work to find out more about the victims of the First World War, 100 years on. Well, this is grandfather's brother, although grandfather was in it as well in the First World War. And so we, it's kind of... The family knew of this, but now we're knowing a lot more about it and it's getting a little bit personal. I found that the grave is in Chichester. And the times I've been to Chichester and not bothered to look at that area, which I will now, because it's so much more real now. We didn't even know his name when I started researching. Eventually found him. Um, he served in the London um, Brigade and was in Palestine when he was killed in April um, 1918. And he's remembered on the Jerusalem War Memorial. And uh, this is a, a Tommy which um, I got this year just in time for the centenary of his death. The family name on the wall is George and John, which are, as far as I know, my father's great uncles who died in the First World War. It's a project run by the Historical Research Group of Sittingbourne and it's on display at the Forum Shopping Centre. 228 photographs and short biographies have been put in windows of empty units, drawing in a lot of attention. It's the people are so real. It's not just the ones who died. It's those who were related to them, you know, the wives who were waiting for years to know what had happened to their husbands. It, it really has been a very moving experience for all of us who've taken part. The families of those remembered by the project found it touching to see their names on the wall of reflection. It's hard to comprehend the skull, like, to start with. Quite remarkably, the only woman in this whole memorial project of 1,150 names is this one next to me, Alice Post. Now, she worked at the Gunpowder Works in Faversham back in the war and she died of TNT poisoning. She is the only woman whose story is recorded in this memorial so far, but the team are still looking for more victims and more stories to be told. This is Poppy Jeffrey for KMTV in Sittingbourne.